G'day all, I thought I'd just share some uh, information about canoe that I'm building. It's uh, 4.2 metres long, uh, it's about 13 and a half foot, uh, around 75 centimetres wide. And um, it's a really simple design that I've, I've put together myself. Um, and the key was I didn't want to do a lot of cutting on the timber. So uh, our local hardware store here in Australia is, uh, is Bunnings, a big chain and they can cut the timber for you and they've got three mil pretty good quality plywood for sale there at $26 a sheet nice and cheap and light and uh, they've cut it up for you so the panels um, they're, they're 300 mil high uh, each side has two 2.1 meter panels long uh, and a simple buck joint to join them together um, and from the 4.2 meter long panels I came in 150 mil from here and just gave me that rebate there that that return for the bow and the stern so you can see um, I'm gonna make it a decked canoe uh, and the reason for that is uh, I'm going to use Michael Storer's uh, drop-in sail rig. I think it's around 23 square feet, a little sail rig. Uh, all the spars are, are 1.9 meters long. And I've got some, some ready-to-go uh, Oregon for that uh, and some blocks and tackle. You can see here, this is my 16-foot uh, white upper from uh, Gay Deerking, they're the outriggers, the main hull. Uh, cross arms are, are down there. Uh, and this is, um, if I want to use it as a, a single outrigger, that's the, uh, the armor. And these are the, uh, the arcas here, laminated plywood arcas. So here's a, a diagram, what I was talking about. So you have four three millimeter plywood hull panels. Uh, 2100 by 300 and then take off a uh, marker point 150 mil in from the corner and return it back up and two of these are joined together with a butt joint and they form the hull uh, and it's all stitch and glue um, I tried using tried using masking tape or not masking tape uh, gaffer tape 100, 100 mile an hour tape people call it and it just didn't seem to stick to the wood very well so I used these guys here. It's um, it's stuff you use in the garden, I think, and it just it comes straight out of the, the glue and the epoxy once it's joined. The um, the epoxy I use uh, it's a really good um, epoxy that doesn't have any amine blush, and uh, uh, which means no no scrubbing once you've made it. Once the box has gone off, um, but it's really flexible too. So it's a really strong bond, but a flexible bond, which is great for you know when you're working with wood. It's I use the exact same stuff building the uh, the vaca for the up owner and the uh, the arcas there as well as as well the single outrigger. Um, I did buy some epoxy online, but it hasn't been very successful. This stuff here, no good. It's really hard really solid hard to use uh, yeah so that's the canoe so you can see a nice big cockpit enough room to have uh, one of my kids or the dog sitting in here with me um, and you know mast step in here um, and reinforcement on the sides here because I will have uh, just some stabilizers on a, a 2.8 meter uh, laminated beam uh, the stabilizers will probably have a displacement of around 45 pounds, which I think is about 22 kilos. So it's not there as a trimaran, it's more just to let me know if I'm sheeted in too tight. It gives me a bit of indication and a bit of safety as well. So if we've got the kids sailing with me, less chance of flipping over. Uh, there you guys, so I'll keep you posted as I do more.